something wrong with here. Listen, let's get straight to it. Adversity makes you stronger. I've been absolutely beaten around the head in the last few years. Uh, Health-wise, three hip replacements. The, the first one got infected, so I had to pulled in, pulled out. I uh, had a, a, a gastric bleed, um, which nearly killed me. They said that there was a 50% chance I didn't make it out of the hospital. Uh, I didn't know that at the time, but uh, I didn't have really any option but to be in hospital because uh, it came upon me in, in minutes. And, um, and then of course the court case, famous court case that went for about eight years uh, where I prevailed at every, every step. Now, um, now uh, basically um, suffering the consequences or fighting back from the consequences of the, the huge impact that all of those things have had uh, emotionally and financially. Um, it, hasn't been easy. There have been some dark days, I have to say, but the point of the matter is the adversity makes you stronger. And uh, I can say that. So what I, the, the mindset I adopted, um, well, a number of things got me through the, those, those challenges, for want of a better term. Uh, I had outstanding friends uh, who I could uh, call on and um, they they were there in, in those instances, whether it was in the legal case or, or health-wise. Uh, had a great girlfriend who um, came in and uh, saw me in hospital. Um, uh, you know, there, were, there was a lot of support there. And, um, and then there was the mindset to, I'm not going to let these, these fucking issues beat me. I'm going to prevail, I'm going to win. You, you can't let these things come over the top of you. Sure, there were bad days where it's going, far out, is anything else going to happen here on the negative? And um, you, you just got to say, I'm going to embrace this, take it on, it can't beat me, right? And um, once you develop that mindset, it sort of is like a um, transforming moment. It's an inflection point in the way you think, and accordingly you go over the top of the, the issues um, to, to, to ensure that you prevail. Because you don't want to lose. As I said, don't let the fucking issues be. You don't let those people that are suing you win. You've got no case. Um, don't let your health suffer. Don't let them impact you mentally. Get on the front foot and be the person that you can be, notwithstanding the incredible adversity. And at the end of it, hey, I'm not in a great uh, financial situation at the moment, but um, I've got the skill set to get out of it. I've already lived a uh, hundred years in, in my short 48 years. So every obstacle, go over the top of it, embrace it, overcome it, take every step that you need to. Um, and um, it may be tough and uh, <laughs> frankly I, I wouldn't mind a few less obstacles in 2020 onwards. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> seem to attract them. Anyway, I've got the ability to deal with them and that's the, that's the key. Uh, and remember to, to try and keep a, a smile on your face. Do the positive things in life. Walking's free, right? Um, so, uh, you know, you can get out, get fit. You can create YouTubes like this and listen to, um, to gurus like myself. <laughs> Actually, on a serious note, I do listen to a lot of YouTubes. Um, it's like a, a mini university for me. Uh, and it certainly has um, helped me with my mindset. Impact theory uh, by Talon Bailey is uh, exceptionally good to, to start with. Um, and Seth Godin as well um, is another person I listen a lot to. And for some fun, a bit of Grant Cardone who's always getting pumped up. Uh, so with that, I'll, um, I'll sign out. Make sure you like this video or YouTube if you, um, you have liked it. And um, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel where we, we discuss the real issues in life. So as I always conclude, you've got this, so go get it. Fulfill your potential. And um, until next time, be good and stay safe.